Our chief investigative reporter Morgan Lowe is joining us now live and Morgan. There are concerns that those goals may already just be out of reach. Yeah, Chris, right now we're testing about 15,000 people per day, and some of them are waiting up to nearly two weeks to get their test results. So we're talking about doubling and then quadrupling that number, and there's some real questions about whether our infrastructure can handle it. When we get to the end of July, we'll be conducting or have the capacity to conduct a million tests a month. It's an ambitious plan announced by Governor Doug Ducey to dramatically ramp up the number of coronavirus tests across the state. But there are already questions about whether the testing infrastructure and supply chain can handle it. The turnaround time for some tests is pushing two weeks and supplies are already running thin. I'm saying that we don't have enough personal protective equipment. I'm saying that we don't have enough swabs. Raymond Embry's operation tests more than 3,000 people every day, but he's struggling to find enough PPE. He's had to scour the internet looking for supplies, and he says he's tired of hearing government officials say there's enough to go around. The state's largest test site currently, based on volume, is not able to get personal protective equipment and has consistently asked for it, then, you know, we should stop, um, you know, allowing folks to say that it's widely available and there's no shortages, because that's not the case. We plan to do 2,500 tests per day at each of the two sites for a total of 5,000. Major General Michael McGuire says the National Guard will help with the surge in tests, which starts tomorrow. After today's announcement, McGuire and Health Department Director Dr. Kara Christ told me they are aware of the PPE issues at Raymond Embry's testing sites. They're working on getting him some additional supply lines, and they believe there are enough supplies in Arizona for the surge. Dr. Kara Christ says that there's some new machinery on its way to Arizona that should help alleviate some of these wait times. And if you want to know how you can get tested through Arizona's strike force, we have that information on our AZ family website and mobile app. I'm Morgan Lowe for Arizona's family. But those long, long wait times to get the results back, they have been an ongoing problem. We'll see if they can get that fixed. Morgan, thank you.